everybody and welcome to race number two of season five in an SCRA Walmart Cup Series. I am Levi McIntyre, aka Thrash Maniac 99, the voice of in an SCRA Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you to the England 400 at Rockingham, UK. We are back across the Atlantic for this particular race after a successful Daytona 500 in which Penske Racing driver Brandon Nichols picked up the victory. And speaking of Penske Racing, please welcome my special guest co-commentator. Please welcome Dylan Young. How are you doing, Dylan? Hey, I'm doing wonderful. Glad to be here at Rockingham, UK. This is an, actually a very unique track, so it's going to be very, very interesting to see here. Of course, and with this racetrack, we see a lot of gray racing, a lot of passing going on. The one problem that drivers seem to have with this particular track is the pit road. They seem to have problems trying to get on pit road when it really doesn't look difficult at all. But yet they scrape the pit wall or even hit the pit wall and take themselves out of the race. So well, the, we've... Yeah, the problem is, is that that pit wall there is on an angle, so it really does not help it out. So you got to make sure you got to squeeze the gap. That's what every driver has to do. So... It's going to be a lot of pressure for these guys, so hopefully there won't be green flag pit stops and they won't do it in there. But they do it also at times at caution, so these guys got to make sure they can't make a big mistake or else the field's going to get all jacked up. So that's another thing common, too. Mm -hmm. And as we take a look at the top ten in points coming into this race, with Brandon Nichols picking up the victory, he leads the points over Michael Norman by four. And then third in points is Rue McIntyre. Fourth is the highest of rookies, Dylan Schwallenberg. And fifth, Preston Plourd. And the rest of the top ten include Stephen Pollard the third, Chris Washer, Danny Wells, Charles Jackson, and Dylan Thoreau. The rest of the top 20, as we are going for the chase format, that was the previous format to the current one, which is the top ten, as well as two wild cards. But we're going to have the winner at Pocono, which is the race before the chase, get locked in, as well as the LCQ race at Talladega. So that's going to be an interesting chase. And then the rest of the top 20 includes Joshua Balkin, Dorian Facepuncher, Seth Cole, David Rivera, James Qualls, Sonny Hammond, Alex Hawkins, Chase Oliver, Joshua Collard, and a tie for 20th between Sean Galligan and James McLeod. And speaking of Collard and Galligan, we're in their home turf, so one of those two could potentially win this race for their yep, home country. Yep, guys are... Uh... England or British people there, they are going to represent for uh, their English fan base there. So actually, those are the two people I'm going to be looking forward to in this race besides my pick. So uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what both Collard and Galligan can do. And I believe, uh, is Nathan Hudson in this series? I think he is. No, he's right? not. Not this season, no. Oh. But Probably. without further ado, as you see the starting lineup scrolling on the top of your screen... Let's get this race started. As we take a look at see who is in the top 10 for this lineup, Jesse said he represented Penske Racing in the 22, is in the pole. Second is a former winner of Rockingham UK, Chase Oliver. Third is Brandon Gonzalez. Fourth is Cole Daly. Fifth is Kendall Maynard. Sixth, Kyle Matthews. Seventh, Dylan Young. Eighth is Jekko Knight. Ninth, Dylan Thoreau. Tenth is Chris Thomas. So that is a look. So you got... Two out of the four Penske drivers in the top ten, the only ones out of there are Austin Weiner and Brandon Nichols. But here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go race, and boys and girls. That 22 got to a rocket ship of a start, and he's pulled away from that 21. Yeah, and Dylan Young made it three wide, and he's going for spots already. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm not surprised to see Penske doing well this early on, because I'll tell you something, the four seasons that were in here went under the NASCAR name. Oh, oh almost a crash. Close. Almost a wreck um, between Chase Oliver and Jesse I'm not surprised Jesse to see Shepard. him go this early on trying to go aggressive, because you know what, they want to forget the past seasons. Two cars have been to victory lane, you know, in a long time, since season one, I believe it was. The 22 and 12 barely went to victory lane. So, I don't blame Penske starting off very strong this uh at the start already, and we're only race two of the season. Holy cow. And Chase Oliver, who won the first ever race here in Walmart Cup Series in Rockingham, UK, back in season one. He's up here in the lead. Uh -huh. And the funny thing with Penske, Penske Racing has had a former champion, and that was Austin Weiner, 
in that very ride right there in the 22 all the way back in season three. So Penske's always a team to look out for here in this series. Yeah, Penske with Austin Weiner, I'll tell you something, a former champion, he's been in some good moments and some bad moments. Good moments where he will win races, have great consistency. Bad moments where a bad DNF can happen, or worse, he can even flip over at times. We see pretty much everything of Austin Weiner, so I'm really not surprised to see him do this well, you know, in this series. And, you know, the funny thing is that we, I normally, when I've, when I've seen Austin, I've seen him in a Penske ride anyway. He, he does very well in a Penske ride. You know, that's just where he belongs. So I don't blame Austin for being in the 22. It's a very interesting move. Well, actually, in he's in the 12 this season. Oh, he's in the 12 this season. Yeah, right. the 22 is a uh, former chase contender last season, Jesse Setti, in the 22 this season. I but keep thinking that is, yeah. that is from last season. Good but job, me. <laughs> but uh, as we take a look at CU's third, Dylan Thoreau has moved up to third. Fourth is the last season's champion. Jekko Knight in the 32, representing uh, Wood Brothers Yates Racing in the 32, teammates of Chase Oliver and Rue McIntyre. So right now two of those three drivers are running in the top five, and now Jekko's going to go by for the third spot. And then a big gap back here as it's three wide between Brandon Gonzalez, Cody Lamas, and Kyle Matthews. Yeah, and I don't know what happened in that close call right there. Nearly four I think wide. someone tried to wreck is what what possibly could have happened. Yeah, maybe there was almost a crash. Oh, yeah, and there oh, is there a... Oh, there was skid marks. That's your caution. It looked like maybe somebody went for a slide, but they might have saved it. We're going to look. There, there, there is there Oh, we do have a car damage. That's Alex Hawkins in the 41. He must have ended up going for the slide. Yeah, he's got back in damage, and uh, that's 21 and 22. We're actually catching up to those guys, to uh, to the uh, 41. Yeah. That is a tough break for Alex Hawkins. Oh, boy. And speaking of Penske, there's the young and the two trying to hold up. Oh, and he almost got hit by David Rivera and Charles Sanford, who is right now in the fifth spot. Who is well, the funny thing, too, is that that's actually somewhat a trouble spot. Somewhat. Yeah. Like, a lot of wrecks can happen in that area. And speaking of Weiner, like you mentioned in the 12, he's actually starting to move his way up. He's nearly going to get in the 8 right there, but I believe he's in the top 20. Well, he was last scored in the 19th spot. This time he's going to be scored 16th. He probably just got the 15th spot from oh, the Oh, wait a minute. Spot. I nearly saw four wide up here, and Brandon Gonzalez had to back out and get into the wall in order to avoid the major disaster. Right now, Cody Lamas is trying to get underneath his Hendrick teammate Kyle Matthews as their other teammate right here, Cole Daly, in the 88, is back here trying to make his way up through the field. Yeah, the only one they're missing right there is the five, but... The five of Chris right. Watcher, yes, and whoa! <laughs> Joshua Michaels about got into Cody Lamas and spun him out. That was hey, a close call. Up and Cody's a big veteran in these NR series. He can make moves like that and make them look pretty dang good. So. Oh, wait a I'm minute. Joshua Collins oh. got side damage. Looked That's like he might have gotten deeper. into the 41. That's a tough break there. He needs a caution. Speaking of hometown heroes, where is Galligan? Whoa, near wreck between Dutta and uh, Ian Dutta and Jackie Tang. That was close. There's Galligan. He was last scored in 25th. Yeah, not a good representation for the hometown heroes for this race, but, you know, this is early on, so, you know, anything can happen. There's still a little bit of time left. Indeed. And now I'm yeah. Anthony McCurry going to go three wide, potentially underneath, oh, nearly four wide, and I, I did I see the caution? I hope it did, because... Let's see. No, we're still nope. green. I thought I saw the yellow, but I guess not. Well, the funny thing about McCurry is this, though, is that Kyotex ran Oh, I heard, well. I heard skid marks. I heard and skid marks and out. something. Well, oh, it's oh, a big Oh, wreck. we got a major pileup. Oh, a big pileup. And, oh, a pile up on turn two. Yeah, I see. And that's the five of Washer. Collard yeah. involved. Yeah, and I see, I see Mitchell Riggs in the 31, Charles Jackson, and oh, Joshua right. Balkan. There's Collard, who immediately teleported to Pit Road. Galligan was oh, involved. The other one. 
There's Washer in the five. No. James Qualls, I, I, Dada, and I Balkan. And there's, like and there's Stephen Didn't Pollard the third. Not 15 not long ago. Who? Trent Dunham. I thought I saw him in the top 15. I thought I thought that too. That's oh yeah, odd. there's Trent. There he is. Trent Dunham's on pit road. Well, man, tough break for Trent. And look at the damage on Charles Jackson's front end. And uh oh, pit stop. So we got to keep an eye out. Oh, a couple cars. Wait a minute, one car is smoking. Oh, oh that's Galligan. Never mind. I thought it was from a, a car getting into that pit wall. These guys got the right idea to just turn down and avoid that wall. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, some slight contact among cars. Oh, Kyle Matthews is spun out of the pits, and oh, he gets oh, hit by Kendall Maynard in the 20. Well, him, I guess. <laughs> and Jesse said he's going to get out of the pits. For, oh, maybe not. Maybe Jekko Knight, but I'd say Jesse said he might get the spot. I guess he, but he was the first pit stall, so it came out slow for him. Yeah, I think Jesse said he will probably end up getting the lead, because I saw her come out first. But... We'll see when the running order gets sorted out, and it looks like the 22 will get the spot. The funny thing I was going to say before that caution came out was about McCurry was that this is actually probably going to be his final year under Toyota, and will probably debut the Audi, so it'll be interesting to see what McCurry can do in that um, Kyle Tech for the, uh, you know, Toyota. Yep. Well, let's uh, before we look at the caution, let's take a look to find out what happened to Alex Hawkins and Joshua Collard earlier in the race. Well, the, you want to talk about crazy moves being made early on in the race. Alex Hawkins tries to go underneath Brandon Nichols, and that's how he gets his damage. And I don't know how that didn't bring out a caution, because he was right there on track. I guess because it was a solo car incident, they decided to not throw it out. But I kind of figured they would because it was right on track. But I guess uh, NNSARA didn't feel it was worthy enough of a caution. Very surprising move right there, too. Hmm. Yeah. But Joshua Collard wasn't involved in this incident. We're going to see a different incident that took place a couple laps later before the caution came out. Collard and well, Galligan. Well, you want to know about something ironic? Watch this. Galligan and Collard, the two native Brits of this track, are going to get into each other. Galligan gets up into Collard. And Collard's going to go for a slide and then just pancakes the wall a little bit and scrapes the uh, tires there. But he was still able to continue and did not collect anybody else. So NAS or NNSCRA didn't throw out a caution for that either. So Yeah, and I'm surprised on that incident too because in those two, they respect each other very well. But that was a very surprising move right there by Sean Galligan. I normally don't see Galligan do that move at all, but... Huh, that's very odd, too, especially to a guy who's also a hometown hero for this race as well, so, yeah. Yep. Well, now we're going to finally take a look and see what brought the caution out for the first time today here at Rockingham, UK. Well, here's how the big one started. Watch uh, the 20 of Kendall Maynard. He barely gets into Sonny Ham, and that gets him wobbly, and that gets him up into James Qualls. And they're both going to go spinning, and then they're going to come and collect cars. And there you see Galligan, and there's Stephen Pollard the third. I see Schwallenberg is in there. Brandon Nichols, our Daytona winner. Balkan, Jessica Sheldon got a piece of it. And then Washer, Plord, Jackson, DeTrent. And Mitchell Riggs is going to get rear-ended by mm. Joshua Collard. And there's McLeod who was involved. And Jessica Sheldon luckily didn't get too bad of damage. Might have gotten a scrape or two, but she was able to get stopped right there to avoid hitting <laughs> Trent Dunham. So, That's smart uh, driving right there. <laughs> yeah. So that was a good job of Jessica Shelton to oh, avoid whoa, major whoa. damage. And then Ian oh, the Dutta. I didn't see him get involved in the wreck. Oh, it oh. was a... Uh, oh, he tried... Oh, he was going down. Oh, he scrapes Brandon Nichols. Side swipes mm -hmm. him and then comes back up and gets into Stephen Pollard the third as he was already in the wreck. And Ooh, Dutta wow. got air 
from that. And whoa, Schwallenberg. <laughs> How about a few close calls there? Yeah, indeed. But that was a look at what happened to bring the caution out for the first time today. Let's go ahead and take you to the restart here at Rockingham UK. <clears throat> Well, after that first caution, we have many cars out of the race, and they include Charles Jackson, James Qualls, Trent Dunham, Sonny Hammond, Sean Galligan, Stephen Pollard III, Joshua Balkin, Chris Washer, Ian Dutta, Mitchell Riggs, and Joshua Collard. So, tough break for all those guys, but Jesse said he's going to be your leader. Second, Jekko Knight. Third, Dylan Thoreau. Fourth, David Rivera. Fifth, Chase Oliver. Sixth, Charles Sanford. Seventh, Cole Daly. Eighth, Joshua Michaels. Ninth, Cody Lamas. Tenth, Rue McIntyre. And Dylan Young, I guess he was a lap down from, I guess he had a mishap on pit road. But the rest of the top 20, Anthony McCreary, Brandon Gonzalez, Matt McIntyre, Austin Weiner, P.J. Williams, Michael Norman, Danny Wells, Dorian Face Puncher, Seth Cole, Chris Thomas. And then the rest of the cars left in the field are Jackie Tang, uh, William Duncan, Kendall Maynard, James McLeod, Kyle Matthews, Dylan Schwallenberg, Brandon Nichols, Preston Plour, Jessica Sheldon, and Alex Hawkins, as well as the lap machine of Dylan Young, unless this could be a scoring error, because Rockingham UK is notorious for scoring errors where cars on the inside line would become the in the top 10 which i don't understand why that would happen but this could be a case of that we'll mm. see yeah we, we didn't see d young have a problem on pit road too that's weird so green flag is back out and let's see where dylan hmm. young is scored if he is going to be scored up there and no he is actually a lap down Indeed he is, and oh man, things are getting already out of control. Whoa, Dylan Thoreau gets forced way up, and he's going to lose valuable spots. And Dylan Young, he's on a hunt to try to get that lap back. And if he can, he might have a chance to salvage a good finish if he can. And right now, right now, not so good. And whoa, he near what is going on with those two? Dylan Young and David Rivera have wrecked, nearly wrecked twice. Oh my goodness, they are getting really nuts back here. Wow, they were four wide for a second, and they didn't wreck. Man, this race is already going spiraling out of control. Meanwhile, Jesse Setti maintains the lead out of all of this chaos that's happening. And... No nearly a wreck with Duncan and McLeod. Yeah, drivers are not really off the Oh, pace. and there's oh. a spin! Oh, it's Dylan Young and Jekko Knight! Oh, no, Dylan Young comes back up and collects Cody Llamas. And Seth Cole's involved. Oh, and a car upside down, that's McLeod. Oh, several cars. William Duncan, Kyle Matthews, Alex Hawkins. Who's that upside down? That's Jessica Sheldon upside down. Preston Plourd, Kendall Maynard was involved. My word, Matt McIntyre was involved as well. So the big one, round number two here at Rockingham, UK. And a tough break for more veterans as well as newcomers. And tough break for Jack Knight. He was running in the top five at the moment. My word. And Dylan Young was on his hunt trying to get his lap back, but he's going to run into problems. Man, Dylan Young just seems to be snake bit in the early portions of a season. He always starts off really, really poor, but I guess he'll try to salvage something after the early stages. But I don't know, but man, that was something we did not need to see. And Dylan throws... And David Rivera, Anthony McCurry, and Jesse Sedder are coming back in the pit road. Oh, and Dylan Thoreau actually did get the pit wall, and now his car is smoking. Man, oh man, I was afraid something like that was going to happen. So after all that chaos, Chase Oliver is now going to be the leader again. Let's take a look at a replay to see what brought the caution out for the second time today here at Rockingham, UK. Well, the wreck starts up at the very front of the field, and it gradually got to the middle of the field when it really got crazy. 
Dylan Young's going to come up, and he's a lap car, and he's going to come up and get into Jekko Knight. So Jekko Knight's probably not going to be too happy with Dylan Young from that. But watch as Dylan Young comes back up the racetrack. He's going to come back up and collect Cody Lamas and Cole Daly. Seth Cole was in there, and then Jekko Knight. He's going to come up and get James McLeod, Preston Plord, William Duncan, Alex Hawkins, Kyle Matthews, Kendall Maynard, Dylan Schwallenberg, and Jessica Shelton all in there. And But we didn't get to see much of that because we were looking at the Dylan Young angle. But let's actually yeah. take a look a at the Jekko Knight angle. Yeah, the funny thing about that was that, you know, it was just like the previous record before. What comes down must come back up. And, yeah, Dylan Young, an innocent victim under that there. He was just minding his own business. And and that's unfortunate right there. And that was very odd, too. He started in the seventh position and then had a weird thing going on with pit road. So that's a tough break for the white deuce right there. Yeah. Now, a few cars ended up going either upside down or airborne from this whole entire mess. And a lot of more cars are going to end up retired in Schwanberg, as well as Maynard and Hawkins, who had already da been damaged from previous incidents. Probably going to be out of the race or going to be completely not up to speed. But that was a look at what happened in the second caution. Let's go back to the restart here at Rockingham, UK. Well, after that last accident, more cars out of the race, and wow, we are down to 18 cars in the field. Dylan Thoreau is out, then Dylan Schwanberg, Kendall Maynard, Kyle Matthews, Jekko Knight, Cody Lamas, Seth Cole, James McLeod, William Duncan, Preston Plord, Brandon Nichols, Jessica Sheldon, and Dylan Young. So all those cars out of the race, we are down to 18 left. But back up at the front, Chase Oliver is the leader. Second is Charles Sanford. Third is Michael Norman. Fourth is Rue McIntyre. Fifth is Joshua Michaels. Sixth is Brandon Gonzalez. Seventh, Austin Weiner. Eighth, Cole Daly. Even after getting into that wreck a little bit, he's still up here in the top ten. Ninth, Chris Thomas. Tenth is P.J. Williams. And then the rest of the field that's running is Danny Wells in 11th. Twelfth, Dorian Facepuncher. Thirteenth, Jackie Tang. 14th, David Rivera, 15th, Jesse Setti, 16th, Anthony McCrory, 17th, Matt McIntyre, and 18th, Alex Hawkins, who is somehow still running on the lead lap after getting into two accidents. Okay, he's a survivor. Give him credit. Indeed. I'm looking at that guy that's in that 5th and 6th position. Watch out for Gonzalez and watch out for the 97. Both those guys right there, they're going to be uh, very hungry for this win. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <coughs> Green flag back out. That's nasty. I know, I have a problem. I'm sorry. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to copy the Cleveland Brown way, but oh well. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so far, great start to the third oh, race start of the that. race. And Michael Norman, Bow got into the wall. He had to back out big time. In order to not get wrecked by that anybody. 97 of Michaels, he's already coming. And the 28's also hungry as well. Yeah, the 20 of Rue McIntyre, who won twice last season and made the chase for the first time. Whoa, Joshua Michaels about got... Oh, my word. How did they not wreck twice that time? <laughs> the world guys, may never know. These guys are giving it all they've got right now. I guess, well, taking, the host. I guess oh, they're taking. I guess trying to take advantage of the less amount of cars and just run as much as they can. But Chase Oliver, former winner here at this track, still leads the way. Rue McIntyre. Yeah, and like I was saying with Rue McIntyre, last season he won twice and made the chase, but got eliminated in the first round. But it was his best season he had by far. He wants to try to carry some of that momentum to this season and here he is closing in on Chase Oliver for the lead already I actually would not be surprised to see Rue McIntyre try to get this win over Chase Oliver so both these guys really want this win but who wants it more is the big question yeah Chase Oliver he is a uh, I believe a four or five time winner in the series Rue McIntyre I think he's only won I think three times in the series 
But right now, as the field runs now, when we're close to halfway, Chase Oliver's the leader, second Rue McIntyre, third Austin Weiner, fourth Chris Thomas, fifth Michael Norman, sixth is Dorian Face Puncher, seventh Jackie Tang, eighth is Cole Daly, ninth Joshua Michaels, tenth PJ Williams, eleventh Brandon Gonzalez, twelfth Danny Wells, thirteenth, whoa! Thirteenth is Jesse Setti, fourteenth Charles Sanford, fifteenth Anthony McCurry, 16th, David Rivera, 17th, Alex Hawkins, and 18th, and not up to speed, is Matt McIntyre. And hey, we got a new we... leader, Rue McIntyre, is now up to the lead. Ooh. Rue McIntyre getting a good run, and I'll tell you what, how about Dorian Facepuncher? Not talked about him at all? Look where he's at. He's six, and with him coming in 12th in the points, if he could finish this race off with a good run, he'll be in the top 10 in points going into Las Vegas next week be very interesting and Michael Norman at the moment he came into this race in the top 10 in points I believe or no second in points I believe he's going to be the new points leader but maybe not Rue McIntyre who is only one spot behind and he's leading and Norman's a few spots back Rue McIntyre could become the new points leader if he wins this race I don't know though Chase Oliver trying to hunt down that 28 with only with only three laps to go well, actually, it's uh, <laughs> three laps ago, more like 23. Oh, 23. Oh, I thought it said yeah. 31. Whoa, I saw I... Austin Weiner get wicked loose coming out of turn three, and that's going to... 18 cars. That's gonna... 18 cars, 30 laps. <laughs> oh, boy. And now it's 22 laps to go here at The Rock in England. You gotta remember, with using a phone, it looks like that five looks like a three, so yeah. <laughs> Hashtag blame Skype. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> but right now the top two have started to break away from the rest of the field. Chris Thomas, who won a race or two last season, nearly won the championship. He was part of the final four at FTF, but did not get the championship. But, and last season he was a rookie on top of that, so he would have been the first, uh, or no, make that the second ever rookie in one more Cup Series to win the championship. The first being Gabe Williams back in Season 2. And to top that off, he didn't even win a race that season. And won hey, sometimes you could be a person who doesn't win and pull off a of Ryan Newman, except win the championship, though. But, hey, <laughs> give credit, though, to him, though. Indeed. Which is also Stephen Potter the Third's worst nightmare. <laughs> that is definitely one of his worst nightmares, up there with uh, Gabe Williams being in an unsponsored car in Charles Sampras's series. Oh, you know it. <clears throat> <laughs> and the worst part of that is with Gabe, he was in a good car but didn't win a race, but yet won the title. So, Stephen, if you're watching, I know you're probably pulling your hair out right now. I'm sorry. We but had then to. again, <laughs> maybe I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, back in the top five right now in fifth, Dorian Face Puncher starting to try to make some noise. Running he's in trying fifth. To actually close, he's trying to close down that four spot right now, so that's a good job for that 15 right there. Yeah, and even though they're on different teams, both Austin Weiner and Dorian Face Puncher are very good pals. And they're yeah, fourth very and fifth well. right now, so... There you go. Yeah, those are YWC buddies right there. So I can tell I can tell you they're gonna race each other hard in this uh, on this track right now. Yeah, and PJ Williams who restarted, I believe tenth, and is now up to fourth, and he's in that forty-five Stewart Haas car. Six. He's up to six. The four. I said he's in six. I said that. <laughs> you said he said he's up. He's up to fourth. Oh well. GG. <laughs> Never mind. Danny Wells, <laughs> who um, came into this race <clears throat> eighth in the points, and he's running eighth on track. So Danny Wells having a great run. Who Jackie knows, Tang. maybe he'll be eight points behind seventh, 888, eight, eight, yeah. with car 88 behind him. <laughs> but Jackie Tank, whoa, Ooh. contact, a big bump, bump and run potentially Ooh, for Jesse Setti, but... I was going to say that J Jackie Tank currently is the highest running rookie 
right now, but I think and he's the only one of a couple of rookies left on track, along with teammate Brandon Gonzalez, along with their teammate Anthony McCurry, who's back there. Yeah, Gonzalez and McCurry, those are two well good bikes right there with the NCGMRS, so it's not surprising to see them, you know, kind of work together. Yeah. And right now, Chase Oliver and Rue McIntyre have still been battling close together up here. And here comes and Chase I, Oliver for the lead. And I just realized, too, when's uh, the next set of pit stops? Pro I would say here in about the next six, seven laps, I would say. Oh, and they are Ooh. gonna catch Matt McIntyre, the slower machine. I didn't even see McIntyre how far back he was to the leaders, so this should be interesting. Mm -hmm. And Come Chase Oliver three. got the lead. Oh, um, hopefully he doesn't cock block. Um, yep, he did. Yep. Way he, to go. <laughs> he blocked Chase Oliver, and now that's going to help Rue McIntyre to get a run on the bottom to get the lead I like back. How, I like how a Chevy blocked two forwards. <laughs> like a boss. Oh, boy. <laughs> and now here but, comes uh, the 28 again for that top spot. That probably helped third place close in uh, maybe a tiny bit for the 14, so that's at least a good thing. Yeah, and there, <laughs> there is the 14. Oh, oh, oh there Chase you go. Oliver. I was about to say, we were seeing teammates go at it for the lead for so long with the 21 and the 28. But now yeah. the 21 of Chase Wait. Oliver is in pit road. And is oh. anybody else yeah. coming in? Nope, just the 21 right now. Hmm. And I can say these will be the last set of pit stops for this race. Oh, you know it. Just the main question is, though, is uh, are they going to survive that uh, pit wall? I don't know. And now here comes Rue McIntyre, Chris Thomas. But Austin Weiner's going to stay out to try to lead a lap to get a bonus point. Face Puncher, as well as uh, Norman staying out, and a lot of others staying out. And I didn't, didn't look like anybody got the pit wall. They're all still running under their own power. So there you go with that. It's going to be interesting Weiner. to see. Yeah, let's see if Weiner came down. Let's no, see. Is he going to come down? Yes. Here we go. Matt McIntyre, was... though, no. Danny Wells oh. is going to stay out again. Danny Wells is going to stay out. Oh. Huh. I thought I saw smoke, but then again, I might be seeing things. I think you are. <laughs> Which is a good thing, then. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it is. Right Academy now, the only two that have not pitted, I believe, are Danny Wells and Anthony McCurry. Those are the only ones who have not come down pit road yet. That is and correct, here and comes here comes Wells. Wells. Now what about McCurry? Here he comes. And that was on lap 41 of uh, 51, so... Yeah. But I think after everything... Yeah, it'll be 10 to go, and I think after all that, it looks like Rue McIntyre will potentially be the leader again after all that. And he got yeah, a he huge did. gap between himself and Chase Oliver. And there is Austin Weiner, who was in fourth last time. Now he's up to third after everything. Yep, and there it is officially. Yep, officially Rue McIntyre is cycled around <laughs> as the leader. Gonzalez made a pit stop. Hmm. Oh, and Alex wait, Hawkins, wait a, wait a minute. He was last okay. scored as the leader, but I think everything's going to get cycled back around here in just a moment. Uh, He's still the leader. And someone else went down. I thought it was the eight. Oh, that was uh, Jackie Tang. Yeah. But yeah, the 41's still staying out. But 28 is second. I don't know what's going on with the scoring right I, now. I think it is the 41, because the 41 had not pit yet. Yeah, I guess, yeah, he has not pitted yet, no. I don't think. Either that, or he made a two-tire stub, trying to make a big gamble. Well, we'll see. The thing is, though, is that if he doesn't pit in the next set of laps, then it's safe to say he took a two-tire stop or he did a gas and go. So it's a very interesting strategy, though. But the problem is, is that that car is off the pace. So 
if he stays out pretty much the rest of this race, can he hold on from the 28? I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Let's see the margin now this time between the two. It was ten, ten and a half seconds last time. Right now it is... Still waiting nine for it right and there. Nine, nearly ten seconds. Yeah, I I'm can thinking tell. the 41 is not yet pitted. That's why he's up there. It's got to be. And here he but, comes. Oh, it, okay, I kind of figured. <laughs> here comes Alex Hawkins in the pit road. Watch him hit the wall or something. No, he didn't. Nope. But right now, now the lead cycles back to the 28 of Rue McIntyre. I can guarantee you, Rue must have been thinking, how the hell did the 41 not pit this point? And then he sees it in pit road, and now it's like, oh, now he pits. Yeah. Surprise. And but right now, he now has less than a second lead over Chase Oliver than the rest of the field. Austin Weiner in third, fourth P.J. Williams, fifth Chris Thomas, sixth P.J. Williams a solid run. Yeah. Sixth story and face puncher, seventh Michael Norman, eighth Danny Wells, ninth is Cole Daly, tenth Joshua Michaels, eleventh is Jesse Setti, twelfth yeah, is Brandon David Rivera, thirteenth is Chase Oliver, or not Chase Oliver, Charles Sanford, fourteenth um, is going to be Anthony McCurry, fifteenth, or actually no, a lap down, and eighteenth still with Matt McIntyre. 15th is going to be Alex Hawkins, 16th, last car on the lead lap, Jackie Tang, and on Brandon Gonzalez, Matt McIntyre, both mm. a lap down, but Rue McIntyre is starting to lose his lead as Chase Oliver, his teammates, closing in again. Yeah, that 21 is slowly and steadily reeling in that 28, trying to make it, well, no matter what, it's going to be a one-two finish for the team, but the question is, though, which of the teams going to win, and I believe they may approach one more lap car if it may be the case. Well, Jackie Tang, the thing about him, he is up to speed. So I don't think they're going to catch him. I don't know. <laughs> these two cars are flying, though. That's the thing about them is that these cars are so fast, they're literally blazing through the speeds. That is true. And now it's three laps to go. And this is a battle that's between two Wood Brothers Yates racing teammates. Wow, that 21 just caught up to that 28's rear, and now that 28's going to be thinking, man, how am I going to win this now? Yeah, whoa. They're right Ooh. bumper to bumper, and now here comes Chase Oliver down low. I wouldn't do that if I were Oliver trying to wreck him there. That's exactly. your teammate. Exactly, yeah, that's your teammate, bro. Oh, 21 slipped up a little. But and that gave the 28 a bit of a run up high, and now it's two to go. I think that 21's got it, though. He's got the faster car. We'll see if the 28, because now he falls in line to let him go. We'll see if he can maybe make a move here yeah. pretty what soon. What a good comeback for that. Oh, what a good comeback for that 21, though. He was like three seconds back at a point, and then he caught the 28, got the move, and I think that may have been the winning move for that lead, but we got one more lap to go. And to 28, closing in again. P.J. Williams got the third somehow. Wow. So here we go. White flag is out for for Wood Brothers Yates Racing. And here comes the 28 near contact, but he's going to get it. Will Chase Oliver let him by and maybe make a crossover move? And here he comes for the crossover. Wow, great racing with teammates. Will the 28 pull the same trick? We'll see. He's going to have to dart it in now. <coughs> Oh, nope. he's coming, he is coming, but I think it's over. Chase Oliver repeats history from Season 1, and he's going to win the England 400 at Rockingham, UK. That was some good racing there. Holy cow. What a finish. <clears throat> but 1-2 for the uh, Wood Brothers Yates camp. The only one of the team that didn't have a great run race was Jekko Knight as he got involved in the last caution, but still, great job for the team of Wood Brothers Yates. And let's take a look at the official results now. Chase Oliver gets his, I believe, his sixth, fifth or sixth career Walmart Cup Series win. I will have to check the uh, win list to be absolutely sure, but... Chase Oliver comes away with the victory, repeats history from Season 1 
where he won this race. So great job for the 21 team. Rue McIntyre, so close to getting his fourth career win, but he's going to be happy with that. Plus, he will officially be the points leader. According to my live points, he's going to be the new points leader heading into no Las harm, Vegas. No harm, no foul. Exactly. No harm, no foul on that there. <clears throat> Indeed. P.J. Williams, who came into this race dead last in the points, he's going to come away with a third-place finish, so that's going to boost him highly up in the point standings. Oh, definitely. He'll probably gain, like, 20 spots or something in the maybe, standings, maybe possibly. Maybe 30, potentially. Who knows? Uh, Austin Weiner, great run of fourth. Definitely needed that. And Dorian Face Puncher comes away with a top five, and now that will boost him into the top ten in points. Chris Thomas, great run of sixth place. His teammate, Danny Wells, comes away with a great seventh place finish. Michael Norman, great run of eighth. That's going to probably keep him second in points. Cole Dowley, solid ninth place finish. And Joshua Michaels rounds out the top ten. Great run for him. And then the rest of the cars that finished on the lead lap were Jesse Setti, Charles Sanford, David Rivera, Anthony McCrory, Alex Hawkins, and Jackie Tang. And then the final two that finished by the lap down were Brandon Gonzalez and Matt McIntyre. Everybody else was out of the race after the two cautions that came out. And they were Dylan Thoreau, Dylan Schwanberg. Uh, wow, how ironic is that? Kendall Maynard, all three Gibbs cars finished 19th, 20th, 21st. <laughs> but all rest. Jeez. <laughs> but uh, then Kyle Matthews, Chuck Knight, Cody Lamas, Seth Cole, James McLeod, William Duncan, Preston Plord, Brandon Nichols, Jessica Sheldon, Dylan Young, Charles Jackson, James Qualls, Trent Dunham, Sonny Hammond, Sean Galligan, Stephen Pollard III, Joshua Balkin, uh, Chris Washer, Ian Dutta, Mitchell Riggs, and Joshua Collard. So... That is the official uh, results. I'd like to thank Dylan Young for stopping by the commentary booth once again. Hey, not a problem. Anytime. Glad to be here. Indeed. So that's two races down. The next race we have, we continue mile and a half racing as we head back across the Atlantic, back to our homeland of the U.S. of A. for Las Vegas for the Shelby 427 at Las Vegas. So that's going to be exciting. But until then, here are your results, rookie points and regular points heading into Vegas. And this is Levi McIntyre, signing off. Now